okay children now as we start the derivation of compound for formula compound angle formula in in our topic today one thing is that we will use this it is our previous knowledge we discussed this sin minus theta is equal to minus sin theta and cos minus theta will be positive cos theta so we come to this place in triangle spt spt we are using uh, to find out uh, sin a plus b so sin a plus b obviously this angle is a plus b so opposite by hypotenuse so it will be st by sp so further i can break up st as sm by mt sm by mt sm plus mt sm plus mt by sp which can be further broken down as sm by sp plus mt by sp isn't it so we write here sm by sp and mt by sp so we wait here now see by basic geometry i can tell you that this angle a here this is angle a because it is alternate angle so this is angle a this becomes 90 minus a so this angle becomes angle a so <laughs> now what we do is we further now little bit of little bit of mathematical manipulations we call it sm by sp plus mt by mt by sp we write this as sm by sp plus mt by sp okay i write it this way mt by sp now i will put just like this sm by something into something by sp plus mt by something into something by sp now remember uh, if i if i write the same terms here it is the same now let me search out sm by sp so we have sm over here i multiplied by sr here and sr here now i have got mt let me see mt mt means instead of mt now remember in, instead of mt i can write as rq why mt is equal to rq now have a look how did i change i put rq instead of mt so now rq i multiplied by pr here and pr here now let's go to find out sm by sr what does it become let us see sin a plus b what does it become let us try to see sm by sr obviously for angle a it is adjacent by hypotenuse in triangle smr so it will be cos a into sr now to see in this triangle sr now i am taking angle b sr is opposite by sp is hypotenuse that becomes sin b plus rq now have a look rq by pr is sin a and pr by now let us see pr by sp is cos b so finally i rearrange so that our tongue gets used to this sin a into cos b plus cos a into sin b now nothing much nothing much has to be changed when we derive nothing much has to be changed when we derive sin a minus b have a look now from here sin a minus b suppose i read this way is equal to sin a plus bracket minus b so use the same formula what does it become so this is derived now this formula i can use everywhere and this i put underline now let us see this becomes sin a into cos minus b plus cos a into sin minus b now have a careful look sin a into cos minus b is cos b minus because sin minus b will be minus sin b so cos a into sin b so this is the so final formula for sin a minus b
so remember this children this is very very important so the derivation of things are important here so now what we are going to do children is we go for cos a plus b formula cos a plus b formula now cos a plus b is cos a plus b in triangle spt a plus b is this angle so it will be adjacent by hypotenuse that is pt by sp pt by sp so this is what is cos a plus b now i can write pt as pq minus tq by sp which further i can write as pq by sp minus instead of tq i can write mr so mr by sp mr by sp so now i write it as cos a plus b is equal to uh, cos a plus b is equal to pq by something into something by sp minus mr by something into something by sp now here pq pq is over here so i multiply by pr up and down pr and mr is here so mr means i have to get i multiply it by sr up and down now let us have a look cos a plus b is equal to pq by pr will be pq by pr will be cos a into pr by sp will be pr by sp will be cos b minus mr by mr by sr will be opposite by hypotenuse that will be sin a into let us see what happens sr by sp will be sin b wow so we get this isn't it so we get this and then finally now what we do is uh, we try to change this cos a minus b can be written as cos a plus minus b so now i use this formula and i can get it as cos a into cos of minus b minus sin a into sin of minus b now let us see what happens it becomes cos a into cos b that remains the same minus and minus sin b becomes plus sin a into sin b so the final four derivations we have seen this is cos a into cos b plus sin a into sin b